welcome back to my channel. My name is The Tenacious Teacher and today I am bringing you another travel vlog. So today's travel vlog is a little bit different because Devin is not with me because I am on a girl's trip. So I came to Xi'an, Xi'an, I say it wrong every time, with two of my friends and coworkers, Heidi and Riley. And we landed here at about 11 o'clock this morning and now it's close to four o'clock and I am kind of chilling in my room before we head out for the evening. We left Beijing this morning around, well, we got a DD to the airport at 6.15, got to the airport at like 7.15 and then checked in, did all that stuff. And our flight left at about nine, about nine o'clock. So yeah, the flight was pretty quick. It was very bumpy, but it was quick and we got here safely. That's the important part. So we've been here. Um, one of our other coworkers recommended a like travel service, like a personal travel service. So it's this man and he and his wife own like a travel company or a tour guide company. And so he picked us up from the airport, brought us to our first hotel where we had some drama because that hotel, uh, we booked it through trip.com and everything was fine. And we went to check in and they saw our faces and saw that we weren't Chinese and told us no. They were just like, um, we can't accept you guys here. So yeah, that was interesting, a little frustrating and disappointing, but things always work out the way they're supposed to because we found a different hotel, the Holiday Inn, and it was about 10 minutes away from the first hotel and it's a lot nicer than the first hotel. So I think it worked out better in the long run. The staff here is very nice and very generous and um, I think from now on when it comes to traveling, I'm going to choose hotels that are around the world. Like, you know, holiday inns are everywhere, like Marriott's are everywhere. I think I'm going to just stick with those hotels, especially during these times, because here in China, it is not illegal to look at a person and tell them that they are not allowed to be somewhere because of what they look like. So yeah we are here that took a long time a little a huge chunk out of our day um but it's okay like i said we got here dropped our stuff off in our rooms and then we met downstairs to have a little bit of a lunch because we were pretty hangry after traveling and then going through the whole ordeal at the hotel so we are here, we have three separate rooms because we want to enjoy our vacation and make sure that we're not on top of each other all the time, which I really appreciate. And I'm excited. Tonight we are going to go to the Muslim quarters and then we're gonna go see the pagoda and then we're gonna hit up a bar to like close up the night. So I will bring you guys along. But first I want to give you a tour of the hotel room. So when you come in, this is what you see. It is humongous, um, much bigger than I anticipated, but it's fine, it's fine, it's nice. And um, I have a whole bunch of room for activities. <laughs> so we have a sectional here with a nice little coffee table, some abstract art, and then a big flat screen TV. Then we have like a standard desk that you have in most hotel rooms. And then if you go this way, so to the right of the door, there is like a little hallway. This does not open. Um, you have a full length mirror here and then you have two closets with like iron, iron, iron rack, iron, ironing board, <laughs> and then uh, robes and then a safe, all that kind of stuff. Then here's the bathroom where we have a beautiful bathtub that I will probably not be using because I don't trust it. Then we have a sink, bathroom. I love these little mirrors when um, hotels have these for makeup. Uh, toilet, shower, very decent shower, waterfall. Um, oh my gosh, words. Waterfall, shower head, yeah, that. Um, and then back out here, we have the bedroom part. So two beds. We thought when they said a double bed, we thought they were talking about the size, but it's like literally double, like two beds. Um, little, I don't know, seashells or something above the beds. Another TV. 
And then the view here is just some buildings and a highway. So this is the view from this area. Such a huge hotel room, super nice. And like I said, things worked out for the better because this hotel room is a lot nicer than the original one. Later on, we headed to the Muslim quarters and we actually put the wrong location into our DD. So we got dropped off at this random bridge, um, which was really cool. We took a lot of cool pictures here, but then we finally found our way to the Muslim quarter where there were just lots of things to see, lots of cool foods, uh, which we did not try and lots of cool shops as well. To close off the night, we visited the pagoda. <laughs> the next day, we visited the Terracotta Warriors or the Terracotta Army, which was built in 246 BC by Emperor Qin to protect his tomb. The Terracotta Army was first discovered in 1974 by a group of farmers who were building a well. Around 8,000 Terracotta soldiers have been discovered so far. This was probably the coolest part of the trip because of just the immense amount of soldiers and warriors and horses and chariots that were built by all of these people such a long time ago. The last main attraction we visited was the Xi'an City Wall, which was built in 1370, and it is about 9 miles long and 40 feet tall. The Xi'an City Wall was finished construction during the Ming Dynasty, and it was built to offer protection from enemies. This is a great place to come and ride bikes and sightsee, which we did not necessarily ride the bikes, but I definitely plan on doing that the next time I visit. I did not film an outro for this video, so this is the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.